I see here. I don't know if this video was supposed to be self-spoken or not. I totally forgot to look, but we're going to go along with it. So I just painted my nails this um, color from Essie. I don't remember the, the focus. Okay, there we go. Kind of. But this is in the shade Lights Down Music Up. I never know how to, like, because with this, you just put your hand behind it with, like, the tops. I never know, like, do I do it, do it like that? I don't know. I don't want to be making y'all dizzy. But I'm just, I thought we would kind of do this in kind of a vlog style. So, yes, I just painted the nail. This is my November color. If you guys would like me to do my nail painting videos again, let me know. I haven't cleaned them up yet. But I use this, put them in there like that, to dry them. What do y'all think of my band-aid? I was trying to get a jar open and my fingernail went right in my finger. But I'm showing y'all my Thanksgiving decorations today. Nothing has changed really from my fall decorations. We just don't have Halloween out anymore. I don't have Christmas out yet either. I still have some Halloween stuff just because I need to put it away in the boxes. But it's just going to be so much easier once I get the Christmas boxes out to put the Halloween ones in when I do that. Um, yes, I want a storage unit. I've never been anybody who's thought about having a storage unit, but it would just be so much easier. I... I, well, I really wish I had like a shelving, like shelves in my storage closet. But no, it's just straight up floor. <laughs> That's all with boxes piled on top of each other. Which I know storage units are like units are like that, but they're bigger, and I just need room to store things because how it's stored right now, there's no organization to it, and that stresses me out. Um, yeah. So this, y'all know, is. Probably my favorite Thanksgiving decoration that I have. I just, I love the sounds this turkey makes. It's from Target. Woven, I got him a year or two ago. I don't remember exactly what year. I just love these sounds. He's my big turkey, and all of a sudden, thanks for that I won't have all my nail polish stuff here. Um, then I have this little beanie baby that <laughs> this is really fall esque. It's this cute, so I have them here. And I have this face from Target, it's like an amber. And these I, are they eucalyptus? No, I don't, I don't know what they are, but plastic um, in there. So then let's go, and then let's come back and do this. Episode. I will be using this at Thanksgiving, right? I will wash it and take the sticker off and all before I use it, obviously. But I got this um, on clearance at Target. I got even cheaper than the sticker. On the sticker, it's a seven fifty. Um, I got this for four dollars. It's a really, really nice play. I love the colors of it. I never really see um, Thanksgiving stuff at Target, so it's by this brand. I don't know. It is. Is this 2023? I've never seen that brand at Target, but I never really look at the plates and all. But I love the colors and everything. With all our different kinds of vegetables, so I definitely will be using this at Thanksgiving next week. So let's go find some more turkeys. My kitchen is a mess. I clean up my trash, but that doesn't mean everybody else cleans up theirs. So 
that all stayed the same all the fall that all stayed the same and as you can see i still have my day of the dead i totally forgot about them to put them up we have a pumpkin okay so then we have this turkey that i've had for years there is a tag on him he, he was 50 cent um i don't know what brand he was originally from but he probably came from a yard so but just a little fabric turkey this one was halloween and he didn't get put up i forgot about him <laughs> then this one is from target last year um right there i used to not take the tags off of things because way back way back in the day i know this is really dusty i need to clean it but um i would have the beanie babies and i cut the tags off of them because they just got in the way i got in trouble with my grandma for it and so i never take the tags off of things now and yes obviously i i don't like how it looks but just it's ingrained in my main mind i'm not supposed to take the tags off of things so we have that and then we do have a scarecrow as well yep, all this stay the same except took down the halloween decorations and over here is my last turkey right here poe is still here but we have this turkey here that i got from postcard pantry and hand make these they're really nice again i know extremely dusty i despise dusty <laughs> but i want to take us back to my um I don't know, my nice is my favorite right here. Oh my gosh, my phone. But I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving. I'm gonna go show you all my pumpkins as well. It's gonna be, I'm gonna film that a little later. But I mean, obviously, it's in the next clip for y'all. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my turkeys and all of that. And that you have a happy Thanksgiving. I know it's in a week, but still, so wishing y'all and your families and friends. Okay, happy Thanksgiving. Okay, guys, so we are at the part where I am going to be showing you my pumpkins and we do have a special friend here. Right there. So he's very talkative, so don't mind him. Oh, kind of disappointed in him. <laughs> I gave him a collar. He wore it for several days and is now nowhere to be seen and he used to when I would put the collar on him, he would take it off and leave it on the front porch. Now it's nowhere to be seen, so it could be in woods, it could be in a creek, who knows. But this is my first pumpkin. This is, I don't know, I think I'd say that one is the bigger pumpkin, but this one. Um, I don't cook with my pumpkins, and I had a man come by the other day. He reviewed all my pumpkins and he said he had chickens to feed, but the pumpkins didn't look like they were in a rotten <laughs> enough state, I guess would be how to word it, um, to give to his chicken set. So he did not want my pumpkins. <laughs> but so if you have chickens or farm animals, I'm sure they might enjoy. He's touching the camera. Excuse those dogs barking, I don't know. Oh, there's um, a man walking a dog, so they're barking at that. But then we had this one, this, um, a smaller size pumpkin. Oh yeah, my cat and my other cat. <laughs> they love to rub their heads on um, the stems. Yeah, I sadly did not, none of my pumpkins. I grew myself, made it to um october so this one as you can see is starting um it's soft at the top and um i don't know if that's mold i don't know um what to call that but this one is starting to go which i will keep these up only literally not long at all that they, they will what i do with them is i put them uh basically so this compost for my own garden and that's what they're used for so now we have my little pumpkins so this one 
back here you can see he's starting to rot. And this guy, he's turning green. Yeah, um, no, I'd say it's about half and half. Usually they, I would say they last longer. I don't know if maybe heat or if it's been too cold. This one is perfect condition on that level. It, I know it does have some dirt right there, but I mean, I could wash that off if I wanted to and some scratches, but other than that, it's in perfect condition right now. And then we had this little tiny guy. Again, has some dirt and sand, but that's just part of living here. <laughs> but other than that, there are, yeah, he's starting to rot a little bit. And this guy, um, there's that spot, but mainly just dirt and scratches, nothing too serious. And so some I might bring inside, like how this one out, how I said it's in perfect condition, bring inside, um, because then the Christmas decorations will go out after Thanksgiving. Then I got a white one. This is my first time having a white pumpkin. I've had some like fake pumpkins that are white, but I've never had a real white pumpkin before. So I think he looks like he's in pretty good condition. I can't tell if that's sand or, yeah, that's sand, just some sand and dirt. So that one lasted well. Then these, I guess, are gourds. I, I just thought they looked cool. So yeah, he's um, that, I would say. And there's some bugs crawling. I don't know if those are ants or what, but get that guy. And then this one I saw was so cool. It's very light, lightweight. So I don't know. I think these are ones that people make crafts out of. But as you can see, really hollow. And those are all of the pumpkins. But I will show you my flowers now on this side, which, yeah, they're getting close to going. But you can always plant these and they'll come back. And um, the next year, I'll show you the tag in a minute. But they're just mums. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. It is like rush hour right now, so for the car noise and all. And then here's my other one, but these maroon colors, so these are kind of harder to see um, from the road, because um, I know yellow ones are the ones that are really bright and you can see from a distance, but so I had like to change it up every year. I had yellow last year, but there are still some buds on there. So this one, I mean, some are dying, yes, but there are some still growing. This is um, a garden mum in a red, so it's an annual, as I said, it comes back every year. I don't have a deer issue, but um, it, it says it's deer resistance. They came from Miami, and okay, Home Depot is where these came from, but those are my outside um, decorations. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, comment, rate, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that notification bell to be notified when all my videos go live. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!